I knew I'd have a hard time when I got finished playing, giving up the game itself. So it was just the, the easiest way to segue into it just continues to be involved with sports. Is just, if I can't play anymore, it's just a coach. First football coaching job was at Culver Stockton College as a running back coach in 1992 going out there and trying to be as fundamentally sound as you can with, with drills and but going into that. So that's kind of where I first started. My first head coaching job was at Knox County High School. And it just so happened to be where I, my alma mater high school, where I played high school football. And it was also a football program that my father, who I mentioned earlier, had started. He was my head coach all four years that I was, you know, a student there at Knox. He's basically the biggest reason that I got into coaching because of the impact that he made on me. Just the way that he cared about us as athletes, um, you know, he was going to push us, was going to be very, very demanding, very challenging, but at the same point in time, when you did what you were supposed to, he was very rewarding. We began to coach together. It helped me uh, become more uh, authentic and real and know that it's okay to be yourself. We won a district title, a second one in the school's history. Uh, then the next, really the, the next three or four years, you took some tough losses, but you, that's where you just kind of blossomed and tried to uh, build off everything. And by the time you started to kind of get a few things established and get a few things going, they wanted to make a change. A lot of times you thought maybe that'd be a job at the end of your career you might you know, it'd be kind of fun to go back and do, but it just ha so happened to be the first head coaching job that I had, so, um, but I do, I, I thank them for the opportunity, and uh, it was a lot of fun to pay back the school that I went to. I came in at year 90, and uh, this was what, the 108th year of football, so obviously football is an extreme important thing, and which obviously was an uh, important thing to me as well. So it just all married up really well. I just switched gears and did the same thing here. I got the opportunity to work under him for the one year at Milan. And um, I always joke and I tell him, I, I probably learned just as much of what not to do as I did what to do. But you learn so much from him about how to, how to handle the position. And he was very fortunate to let me do a lot of things early. We always never really overly tried to just talk about winning and losing. We just talked about trying to play as you know, better than we did the week before. He was someone I wanted to be around and learn from. To be around him almost daily for the next three years and see what he did and how much he gave himself to every player that he coached, every student that he taught. I knew then that there were elements of greatness that I hadn't been around before. Long time Milan football coach John Debney has been named the 2013 winner of the Atkins Award. The honor is given to the Missouri high school football coach that has shown power and influence in their community. Dabney's teams haven't lost a regular season game in three years. Sometimes there's tough years where you're like, it's uh, it's very tough and you're wondering if you, you're making a difference with people. I was at Maysville and John was here at Milan and so we competed and um, against each other and our, our friendship grew then and uh, I had an opportunity to come here and work for John and did so for two years and was his assistant. John allowed me to be um, an individual uh, and bring some things from my experience and, and add to what he had built here. He wants to always put kids in the best position so he's going to teach them the drills, the techniques, the X's and O's. He wants them to be knowledgeable of the game and then also very intense. There's two different people. There's John Dabney and there's Coach Dabney for sure. You know, the intensity, the fire, the, you know, that you see on the sideline and even, you know, I even go with, his, with, with Andre, with his wife. They're, they're, they're very similar with each other. They are very fire, fiery competitors. They want to win. Coach Dabney is all those things, but then when you get away from the game, he's one of the most caring people. Will give, you know, take a shirt off his back, give you anything, go above and beyond to help. I think he's been a great role model for kids. Um, he's taken a lot of kids under his wing and he's done a lot of things for kids off of the floor. The things that he did here for people in our community, that people outside of our community don't know that go, what goes on here, um, the kids that he took home, the, the meals that he, he helped feed some, some kids, and to think that he did that for 16 years here is incredible. He's one of those guys that, from a person perspective, there's nobody better, willing to do anything and absolutely everything to help you. And on the coaching side, he's going to demand the best of his kids at all times and expect them to you know, be disciplined and do those sort of things. He wants it to be done right, and then if it takes 45 times to go through it, it's going to take 45 times to go through it. And um, he just pays attention to detail and he has his kids prepared. I, I think everyone would agree with that, that that's probably his greatest asset. During the year, we didn't know 
I, I suspected our last game as we walked off the field we had gotten beat and he had a nice moment with his wife and his boys and, and Marion on the field, uh, kind of a group picture um, on his last game. And so at that point in time, I, I could connect the dots enough to know that it was possible. But John didn't announce his retirement until May. I uh, just can't say enough for all the support and uh, all the great kids that we've been fortunate enough to coach. And uh, just God, I just, I'm blessed God put me in the right place, I felt like, for me and my family. He was here for 16 years and he coached so many young men here. Um, in fact, the, the seniors that, are, that just finished their senior year in my program were the last group that he had. So if you look at the, the number of lives that he's touched and molded and helped uh, to, to build up as young men to go out not only in our community here in Milan but in the world, uh, it's huge. And, and if you think about um, coaching today, it's hard. And so for one guy to be at one place for 16 years, that's saying something. And it's saying something about the quality of job that he did that was recognizable. It's also saying something about John's integrity and character as a man who was never chasing talent. He was never after the bigger, better thing. And he never was a guy who faced adversity here and then got upset and left. I try to be loyal and I try to, I'm a very attached to wherever I am. This is home, North Missouri, and uh, be able to do what I do. Uh, to, for me, it's, it's just been a blessing. Once you start looking at everything the guys put together for that nomination, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of things I guess we've, we've done. I had gotten a phone call and it happened to be my wife, <laughs> our 22nd anniversary. First thing I thought of was, it's almost like your life flashes in front of you just thinking about Think about all the people that are responsible for helping, I mean, helping me be in that position. Once we actually got there, it was really kind of an emotional moment. It was like um, all of his hard work over the course of 27 years um, kind of all came to, to one moment in time there, and you couldn't possibly put it into words. You know, I couldn't think of anyone else to uh, be married to and share this uh, with. You know, good Lord's blessed me, as I've said before. Um, professionally, marriage, family, and everything that I've, uh, uh, I don't know why he takes care of me, but he sure does. I'm really proud of him. I know our entire family is. I know that he's been a great role model for my kids, and um, I can't be thankful enough to be married to him and be able to share my life with him. I just thought, man, this is just perfect for me, and uh, it's just rewarding to be able to do what I do. We win things together, we get beat together, and uh, and awards like this together, uh, this is that's our award. It's not really my award, and uh, uh, so I look at every everybody who's got a little piece of that uh, of that puzzle, and it's all put together right now. This this award definitely could not go to a better person. He represents the best of what our profession has. Congratulations. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that he was a guy that did it the right way. The number one thing in, in, in the forefront for John was uh, doing it for the kids and, and building the young men and um, caring about them. Um, the wins along the way happened, but that wasn't his driving force. Congratulations on a fantastic career. Congratulations on being a great coach. But most importantly, congratulations on being a fantastic man, uh, someone that has taught so many how to be better, how to be a, a good human being how to see the best in people. John, I am so uh, grateful uh, that our paths crossed, um, that we had the opportunity to get to know each other. Um, you're like a brother to me, and uh, I am incredibly proud that you're not just in the Hall of Fame, but that you're my friend, um, because you deserve this. Um, you put in the countless hours. Uh, you care about kids. You care about the game of football. You care about your family. You care about your faith and I'm so proud to be uh, associated with you. Your legacy here and in, and in coaching is, is grand, and your legacy and your, um, your history in Missouri football coaches is, um, it's, it's, um, it's famous. And people know about John Dabney all over the state of Missouri and outside, and I am thankful to be a part of that. I'm thankful to be a guy who learned and got to share a couple years with you. You strive to get the best out of each and every player each and every day. You see the unique gifts that they have, and your heart um, is so big and it intends well to make sure 
that the people that play for you and the kids that play for you and the staff that works with you um, all achieve everything that they want to do in their professional dreams and in their careers. Thank you very much for everything that you've done for me. Thank you for helping push me to be a better athlete, to probably overachieve as a high school athlete, um, and then to help me within the coaching ranks from when I very first started doing middle school, junior high in Springfield to now here at Putnam County. Thank you you, John, for, for teaching me the Milan Wildcat football uh, way and, and leaving the program in great shape and then handing it over to me. And not only that, but thank you, John, for supporting me uh, the last two years um, as after you've removed yourself. This is our award. This isn't something I did. This is something I'm um, being rewarded with based on what everybody else helped, me, helped us all achieve. So really, this should, you know, should <laughs> You should have everybody's name on there if it's possible, but that's how I truly feel about um, a way of putting it with, you know, one big life, one big puzzle, and everybody's had a piece of this.